The Whiskey Brothers podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers podcast starts now. Welcome to the Whiskey Brothers episode 775. I can't believe we achieved liftoff. I am your host as always, Slade Ham. Uh, the right Reverend Robert L. Mungle, all the way to the uh-huh. far right, Trey Tutson to my immediate hey. and uh, I don't know why I tell people where y'all are sitting I guess it's so they can create it their yeah, own little oh. movie in their head uh, sure. and to my left uh, Radu Bondar back on the podcast hey and, I'm, uh, I'm north some of you Rondu <laughs> as all Ron your fans refer to me Rondu <laughs> Ron Ron uh, you, you were on the Christmas show I, I remember dude so yeah so I was a little high to, as always and uh-huh. uh, and someone yelled like you, they introduced me uh-huh. and uh, Grady introduced me and then like three people yelled my name it's and pretty I, cool, isn't it? It's, it is, but I didn't realize it was because they knew my name. I thought they just found it interesting. They were like trying it out. Because <laughs> people do that shit in front of me all the time when they meet me. They're like, raw do, huh? Raw do. <laughs> just like try to like get their foot up in it, you know? Taking yeah. take a new uh, order of letters for a yeah, test drive. Yeah. And so I kind of like, I kind of shit on them a little bit when they were doing it. <laughs> oh, and they were just being fans. I, yeah, they were just being fans afterward. But luckily I'm like, you know, super hilarious. So I made them laugh. <laughs> The next 15 that's very, seconds. That's convenient. <laughs> but I did start off, and I was like, I didn't understand why I was a little standoffish. And then I was, I was like, oh, I would be really upset, too, if, they, if I was like, Jake. And then she was like, oh, you know my name, Bro. you piece of shit. <laughs> Bro, that's my favorite <laughs> shit that he does. When he goes super cocky on stage, uh-huh. and then the audience hates him. That's my favorite Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Actually a brand, that should be a brand standoff, standoff comedy. <laughs> standoff <laughs> is comedy. Yeah, yes. standoff comedy. Standoff, stand up. Oh, yeah. shit. That's uh yeah. Welcome, welcome to the part of comedy yeah, yeah. where the only thing that makes you laugh anymore is people dying on stage. Yeah, I mean, that's it's, <laughs> why it's, it's a good place shit. to be Been there for a minute. The it's a good problem. place to be. The shit. problem is, it's just about where you do it. If you start with it, people don't understand who you are, so they're just like, "This guy is an asshole." Yeah. But if you put it somewhere like I don't know, four minutes, and when they understand that you're doing some kind of humor, you're not actually just a moron. Yeah. Uh, well, it's lovely because. He's a dick to other people, and they have no response. They yeah. have nothing. They just have to sit there and be like, well, <laughs> he's a dick. Like, he's got to deal with it. Yeah. So it's funny when he goes up there. He's like, yeah, go ahead. Do that shit. Yeah. Oh, and you yeah. just push him out into the pool. I don't say nothing. I sit back quietly. And I laugh internally. Like just, It's never really backfired on me, though. Not like, like crazy, crazy. Even even if I'm yeah. bombing because they don't like how cocky I am, I yeah. like I'm, I tell them, I'm like, you're going to like me in, like I don't know, three minutes. Yeah. Yes. yeah you, <laughs> you just yeah, started. It's so funny. <laughs> yes. I tell them, I'm like, you're not gonna like me right away. I gotta dig out of this, but you're gonna enjoy me soon. <laughs> you gotta, yeah. I'm very good at what I do. Yeah. Are, are, <laughs> well, here's to you being standoffish. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Uh, we're drinking, man. Uh, Joe Breda stopped by the studio Ooh. earlier this week and brought some of the oh, new man. bourbon. Really? This is this is, oh, this is the new yeah, shit. This, Rob, this is remarkable. Whoa. So I was uh, Boomtown. Yeah. Th- this is this is his new bourbon, and it's yeah. Tell me tell me how fucking oh, yeah. good that is. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean that sincerely. Uh-huh. If, That's good. If you were, uh, Ooh. That's smooth, baby. It is. Oh my this God. is old fashioned material. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, right. it's, it's, it's neat material, too, and it's rocks material. But it's, it's old man whiskey for the younger man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you just create a campaign? Hey, I want to do my shot. Yeah, that's all old right. Old man I, whiskey. All right, I got a question for you guys. Okay. This came up. Some chick was on Facebook. Mm. She's, just, you know, knew me, knew you, you whatever. Mm. New year, knew me, whatever the fuck. Oh, that one right. of those. One of those. It's going vegetarian. Oh. Put, put some picture out. This is fourth vegetarian meal, the fourth day in a row of vegetarian meals. It's got lentils or some garbage, <laughs> some fucking beans, and two fried eggs. <laughs> uh. <laughs> two fried and she and I put on there, those are fucking eggs. Well okay. she, there's a difference between vegetarian and vegan. Bullshit! No, <laughs> there's not. It's in the name. Vegetarian. <laughs> There's okay. no fucking egg tree. So veg- okay, well, vegetarian. <laughs> the egg tree was one of my favorite and childhood she, books. Yeah. That and so she comes back at me. Oh, you're just being a troll. Fuck you. And unfriended me. And I'm like, you have fucking eggs on your vegetarian picture. Shel well, Silverstein, now, the egg tree. Are you familiar with the word vegan? Yes, but no. Get, so you know it's different than vegetarian. It's vegetarian. <laughs> So you're just there's veggie. Right. There's no veggie eggs. You're bound oh, by the word funny. part. This, of this. <laughs> this is, this yes, is, I so am bound by words. Purely I'm sorry. So pansexuals can only fuck dishes. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes. Wait. My understanding of it is pan. <laughs> is You're this? a breakfast fucker. <laughs> <laughs> is this what it's like to argue with me? All day, every day. Oh, God damn. Every I day. never know. This well, is you're right, you're, you're smaller right. than him. <laughs> yeah. you, I mean, you know, too, I see what you mean, but you're wrong. <laughs> How am I wrong? <laughs> How am I fucking It's eggs? Bro, this is the thing. If you vegetarian, you get to steal where your Jordans. You know what I mean? Like steal that. That's Jordans. The, yeah. Like they want you okay, to change Oprah. your clothes and shit when you go vegan. Are yeah. Jordans not? Oh yeah, I found that shit out when I was doing <laughs> this shit for two months. They was like, if you gonna be down, you gotta get rid of them J's. Oh, wow. Not all this money, bitch. I'm done. I'm back on steak. <laughs> is it oh. is it because there's leather in them or was yeah, it Michael, it's the leather was, shit. Michael yeah. was such a carnivore? <laughs> oh, I, <am> I, <laughs> I don't know. You know. I just found this shit. I didn't know that there's there's animal black animal rights vegans. I always what? assume black well, people go vegan just for health shit. Mm. I didn't know we give a fuck about animals that much. What's, Y'all what? don't. But, no, we, but no, but we don't. But, but we do. Have you been to a soul food restaurant? I was shocked. I was like, wait. Wait, wait. Are they black animals? What are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? What are you fucking talking about? Black, black, animal? black animals? What the fuck are you talking like, about? Like black just animal? pit bulls? What's the? No, I, what do you mean? Like, what are y'all asking? I'm lost. <laughs> you said black animal okay, rights so, activists. So, oh, my fucking God. Trey, Trey, here I didn't know that there were black people yeah. that became vegan uh-huh. because they cared about animals. Because we don't usually give what? a fuck. You really? don't know what an animal rights vegan yes, is. I you know. don't even know what the difference between vegan yes. and vegetarian. I don't know how yes, the fuck I do I'm know. Having. I do know the fucking difference. What's I the know. difference, There's Rob? There's no fucking eggs in either one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Neither one of them have fucking eggs. Those are fake chickens, by the way. You can see so. how older white people would be confused by the phrase black animal rights vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you mean like a animal like you're only going for animal rights for like an ox or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. The darker animals? I seen a black giraffe yeah, once. I, see. I thought it was a tall zebra, but no. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> a tall zebra. So just the legs and wings half of a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying you. you don't put eggs in a vegetarian. Well, okay, meal. Rob, but I don't mean to sound like a fucking Christian at a Planned Parenthood. But, but you know, but that's fucking meat. Right? It's gonna be a chicken one day. I, no, it's not. Nah, they stopped it before. Well, like it's, a stillborn, okay. right? Yeah, it's a stillborn. It's a stillborn chicken or some shit like that. Yeah, it's or, not fertile. It's unfertilized eggs, it, but no. it still comes from a fucking animal. I think the emphatic part is it's still not born. It's not a chicken. Yeah, yes, it's, it's yolk. Yeah, I get it, but it comes from a fucking animal. Well, it's yes. not veggie. Hmm. There is no fucking tree no whole itself. Shit is from. Just I can't it not teach come you from the, the ground. That's so yeah. vegan. Is oh, that shit? Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is vegetarian? Vegetari- vegetables. Vegetarian. Vegetables. Eggs aren't vegetables. No, that's Stop. not what vegan is. Stop. Vegan. Here's, here's some Listen to me. <laughs> vegan means you consume absolutely no animal product whatsoever. Right. Vegetarian okay. means you just tell people you're better than them that- without doing a whole lot of <laughs> shit different. <laughs> you eat eggs Fair and salad. Point. Yeah. And I had some person. Oh, they eat fish. What the fuck? That's not. That's pescatarian. I, I, I was I doing did a that thing shit. for like three months where. I wasn't eating any meat, but I would replace whenever I would eat meat. I would just replace in that dish. I would replace it with chocolate, <laughs> yeah. so which like, is just right. made of pure milk. Yeah, well, I wasn't. It wasn't like an ethical diet. I just wanted to eat more chocolate. <laughs> 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 he's, he's three musketeerian. It was like great with spaghetti. <laughs> three, uh, three musketeerian. musketeerian. <laughs> yeah. All right, you go. <laughs> what? There's no fucking eggs in that either. I would eat, I would eat like scalloped potatoes and like a Mars bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like a grilled Mars bar. <laughs> that, what <laughs> grilled <laughs> bar? Can you grill a Mars <laughs> bar for me? <laughs> <laughs> like oh a, god, like that's a, too funny. Like Where a, am I at the at the rodeo? What? <laughs> Dude, you know I got a tour from the uh, uh, the guy that owns all the rodeo carnivals, a food tour from it last year. I'm really? going to do it again this year, Wait, too. Wait, what? There's a guy, the guy who runs all the food, like the carnival parts right. of the rodeo. Yeah. And he, ro- he owns all of them nationally. He gives, uh, where I work, he gives all the culture map writers and stuff a tour of all his different food shit I, that I, they do. I, I want to go to there. Yeah, no. Oh, I, honestly, I think I thought of you a, a few times when I was there. Yeah. <laughs> it is like, he's like the Willy Wonka of carnival <laughs> stuff yeah. in that he's dressed in like this big, he looks like a Mountie and he's got like an umbrella that he's That's always like. That's a Canadian like, cop, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And he's always, he's got this umbrella that he's always like tapping stuff on and he goes up to every booth and he speaks like broken ass Spanish to all the workers yeah. and they speak, they're like, they speak perfect English right. back, back to him. Yes, Mr. Like, Sir, why are you speaking like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, see, perfecto. <laughs> <laughs> but he loves carnivals and carnival food. Yeah. And Is he a large man? 
he's tall. He's weirdly yeah. not fat. I mean, no. I, but like you could, like, he eats the shit yeah. in front of you. He's not like Papa John. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he fucking does it. But he'll show you. It's it's literally like the. It's like this here's a double fried chocolate stuffed Oreo twin. You have to. Get well, us he into talks this. about he talks about what's on the cutting edge of carnival food because just like all of food, they have their own trends yeah. and whatever. He's like right now, uh, uh, uh hot Cheeto powder is really in, so we're putting that on everything. Oh. And they had like Oreos covered in it, whatever. and you're like, this this is just disgusting. There's, yeah. But then you bite into this shit, and you're like, oh my god, this is cum. No, Ooh, that's what the, cum. no, that's that Mexican fucking salt you put on your hand and before you drink a beer, and they sell it at the Mexican gas stations, and they're all like chili flavored. And Hey, no, I, I thought it, it was wrong too, brother. No, <laughs> no. I'm not eating an Oreo covered in hot Cheeto dust. That's, I used to think, I, I, I would like, try that. I was like, dessert, you would? I would yeah, try. You dessert like, shouldn't be spicy. Shit. I used to think that. Uh, yes. But then I had it, and I was like, I was wrong. But <laughs> yeah, the, you ain't supposed no, to be I don't, mixing. They gave me. Like, I don't yeah, want yeah. jalapeno ice cream. I don't they want. They gave me a candied apple covered in hot Cheetos, and I was like, I'm what? way, I'm See, way too I'm, rich to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> but I just swallowed my elitism, and it was amazing. That is absolutely. I see why you have bacteria. Fucking that is. The, that that's is why you. Can, Absolutely, you got a village of bacteria. In Unholy. Your <laughs> well, I also wasn't flossing. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I can't get down with the covered apple. I don't like that. I don't like it's because it's a weird biting. It's like it's you, like a very yeah, it's, hard. It's, they're candy big bar. on they're big on deep fried. Like you would like the deep fried shit. Yeah, I do. The, that's I, the si- that's the side of the factory I I like to play on. But they're yeah. out of shit to do. They fried coke and butter, and I think that's where you got to stop. So the deep fried oh, butter, no. the, what, what it's you, it's really amazing because they they're not done with that. They're doing now. It's oh, like, there's great things happening in this deep no, fried <laughs> weed butter. <laughs> they're making great strides <laughs> in in deep fried technology. <laughs> Rob, there's right. only there's only there's 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 literally no, no untrodden no, no. ground. Well, now they're now they're keeping the butter liquid. So they deep fry yeah. it. You bite into it, and it's still liquid. liquid somehow. Yeah, yeah. Well, so if you do it right, my the way I would do it, if you mm-hmm. freeze it to the right temperature, mm-hmm. or what, if you get the butter to the right coolness, yeah, and then you batter it and you fry it, it liquefies just as you're about to eat it. Oh my it. god. Yeah. I created a deep fried Jack and Coke. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he did. I did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Master that motherfucker. Yeah, he's a wizard. Um, yeah. And I thought a you know decade what? ago, the, be- the I- best thing I ever did, and I only did it once because it was so expensive. Deep fried honeycomb. Deep fried <laughs> honeycomb. Yeah, that's that's the cum of angels. Wow, that's fucking good. Oh God! Deep fried honeycomb. You weren't there when we tried it. Oh, no yeah. shit! I, why would, why would uh, I be looking at you? So what the yeah. fuck is a honeycomb? Oh God! Uh, we got to start at zero with the you. With every- <laughs> yeah. What's a honeycomb? Uh, Trey, uh, you, the- so you know what a bee is? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! All right. It's a hive. Just, <laughs> it's a hive. A honeycomb is part of the hive. Go talk to your yes. black black uh, uh, animal rights activist. They'll tell you. They'll tell you about it. <laughs> the uh, it's the it's the cum. It's the little fucking cum nut. Bro, I only know that shit from them cereal. I I thought it's that shape, which is based. Yeah, on actual honeycomb, which yeah. is Didn't a little, know that. I can show you some. It's I think I have. I think I have some. In, yeah. in, in, I uh, thought whoever the fuck post Kellogg's, I thought they just made honeycomb, yeah. made up a word. Uh, yeah, yeah. You get cor- like you trust nugget. corporations a lot. Huh? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> it was like a honeycomb. Like, oh, it already come with grease in the comb. Every like, converse, like that type of shit. Every conversation with him has to start at zero. So you I know don't, what people are. <laughs> yeah, I got that part. Honeycomb is like the <laughs> no, little. It's, I, it's like the ball sack of honey. Inside the fucking, I kind of got it now. Yeah. Like I know if you fuck up a, a a fucking hive, yeah, you'll see those little, yeah, yeah. The little fucking thing. I, I what get, the bears are eating. I, I get it's it now, the, man. It's, it's not waxy. that it's not that you don't know things. It's just the, the things that you know that are, are so that are, wrong. Well, what, what's what, <laughs> when they're wrong? It's because you trust companies. Usually. You're like, yeah. yeah, that's what I always saw. They on the got me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I would see that. I'm like, all right, it's just serious. <laughs> It's not absence of information. You're just like, yeah, well, what I thought it was is just what the bear told me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. Uh, Radu Bandar sitting in with us. Uh, we'll be right back. More Whiskey Brothers podcast. Are you new to the Whiskey Brothers? Then check out the legendary first 400 episodes. Access the archives at praisewhiskey.com. Welcome back. Do me a favor. Drunk dial us 323-510. Shot. Yeah, 323-510-7468. Pint. The phone number. You can always tweet us, hang out with us, Instagram, Facebook. We're on all that stuff under Praise Whiskey. I think we have the Whiskey Brothers, too. I don't mm. know. Praise Whiskey works for sure. Mm. Uh, we're joined by Radu Bondar. I have got Trey and Rob here. Uh, I'm going to grab this whiskey. We were we were right in the middle of a nonsensical conversation, and I don't want to drag <laughs> ourselves back into it. Uh, yeah. What? Go. <laughs> what I'm gonna the fuck pour. was you saying, dude? 
What was I saying about what I learned in Laredo? Yeah. I met uh, a guy. Well, there's two things that I learned in Laredo. One, I learned how dangerous Laredo actually is, like Nuevo is. Okay. Because yeah. I, I wanted to, I wanted to go yeah. to Mexico real bad, and I kept telling all the people there, I was like, I'm not like these regular white people. I'm from Romania. I'm not scared of shitty places. Yeah, so you're basically not even white. Yeah, but they were like, <laughs> I, but all of them were like, nah, man, like I live there. You don't want to do this. And I met a guy in a bar, and I was like, you, uh, he, I, he lived there. He mostly only spoke Spanish. So I was like, tell me the truth. Like, tell me for real. If it's like, cause I'll go in the morning, I'll be fine. And he just, he wasn't even looking at me. He was looking kind of next to me while he's smoking a cigarette. And he goes, <laughs> he goes like, the way they will kill you is so horrific. <laughs> 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 and then he mumbled something about achido, like acid or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. I was like, all right, man, I'm just going to chill here. They got Bud Light on this side, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you just fine. burn a motherfucker alive? You don't want to fuck with anybody. No, 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 no. They put you in a vat of acid. So you, yeah, you dissolve Why? over a period of what time. What did you do to them? And your ass disappear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't even know what the fuck yet. That's just what they do to people. Yeah, yeah. That's they just, just murder people for murder's sake. Yeah. Yeah, well, because there's, there's, there's. You might know something. There's, no, ain't no vegans in Mexico. There's a border crisis right now, so their army is is generally right. If you go during the day, you'll see their army like 200 feet away from the border. When their yeah. army leaves at night, these other dudes in SUVs and, and <laughs> AKs show up and they just rob any of the Americans they see coming across the border. They're starting to rob some Mexicans. <laughs> the thing is, a lot of people that live in Mexico work in the American side and then just go home to Mexico at night. Sure. Oh, so they're getting it beat up on the way home. Just it's for- like a little bridge they walk over I could, yeah. that I could see from my hotel. Yeah. And, um, Jesus! They just kick it and then rob. They just they hold them upside down and shake them. That shit sounds. No, like I mean fun. they get you in the car, so you know it's bad. <laughs> like I told them, there should be a resort set up where there's <laughs> a view site of that. That's exactly what I was you in. Know, me, oh, so you had that? I was in something called La Posada, which is the nicest resort in Laredo. But okay. literally right underneath my balcony, there was those tent. Uh, what are they called? Tin cities? Courthouses where they bring in asylum seekers oh. for like half a second. You see a video judge. Yeah. And they're like, back to Mexico, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. It costs $25 million to set up these tents, which are mostly shipping containers. The government, the city of Laredo offered the government to use real facilities for $1. Uh. The Trump administration was like, no, tents. <laughs> 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 we had to do social media. We got this this hotel because we were doing, we were, they were like, hey, you just come through and do some social media stuff and we'll give you free rooms for two yeah. days. And they were like, but don't mention these tents. And I'm like, but it's like right outside. It's my whole view. You know what wow. I mean? Wow. It's like no, all, literally all I can see from my very nice room uh. is the border and the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> but don't say anything. Yeah. Okay. Pretend Holocaust. What? Yeah. <laughs> so what did you, did you not say anything? I didn't until, say until anything. Until right now? Well, yeah, but sorry, La Posada, but. <laughs> they won't be how same. holocausty is it they just <laughs> in the tents how I, I watched the next day I got really high <laughs> on a, on a scale. what's going on in the tents <laughs> I smoked dabs some gas? And, and just what's watched happening? the shit no man this is what it is they they make people wait for a long they're just standing in the sun and it was cold too they're either standing in the sunlight or like it's cold or whatever yeah uh, you to, can still get a sunburn to in the, send in them the back cold. to you, fucking yeah, yeah you're standing South there for America. like eight hours they bring you in this, this room for a couple minutes and you can see no, the, the the goal is for them to plead their case as to why they should, why they didn't why, why they deserve they need asylum. asylum and the the bare minimum that you have to provide an asylum seekers access to U.S. courts. So instead of allowing them in the country for whatever You're right, you of time, build a courthouse. Yeah, you build a courthouse right on this shit. Okay, you feel connected to immigrants like that's why you. you I mean, I got here. Through that's what I'm saying because yeah. you that. Also, they're people <laughs> too. You know what I mean? Because you're that. Because you're that. It's also the people part, like you know, because they're people. The with, people uh, shit, with, like, really. Faces and stuff. People also on but the other side of that shit. Thing. I'm also honestly, it's it's two parts, right? Yes, I feel connected. To <laughs> yeah, I know that's the main shit. I just also <laughs> love that it, it bothers white people. That, they're, <laughs> that what? That they're coming in here. Yeah, and it and it really bothers white people when you make a good argument for why they should come in. <laughs> Yeah, true. Because yeah, because they're like, well, do you really believe that we should just have no borders? I'm like, yeah. And they're yeah. like, that's dangerous. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah, white people are like, yo, if we want people here, we go get them. I was like, yeah, <laughs> like every other country. We has got that. a deep history of this. <laughs> do you know that like the, the only countries and you Slade, you travel, you know, the only countries that have like well defined borders are when they're at war. You know what I mean? When they're like, if this motherfucker gets over, we're taking his nails out. A big part. Otherwise, you just kind of just go and come. Yeah, yeah. you're just like that forest. Oh, that's where really we think the border is. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Okay. Especially in Europe where it's been... Well, know, I mean... The a, concept of sovereignty has been yeah. around for 110 years, maybe. You know what yeah. I mean? Borders, that's some new shit. <laughs> that's some <laughs> white shit. Yeah. Borders. Anyway, you know what else someone told me in Laredo? <laughs> this up? guy, I asked him if, if he's going to go partying after the show. I was like, you can go on out? And he's like, no, I'm going to sleep early. 
And I was like, were you trying to stay alive longer? And he was like, hell no, man. That's why I eat Takis every night, so I get that butt cancer. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? That was a real thing. I told you, it just affected me. <laughs> Eats Takis every night, so he gets the, that butt cancer. The, the gas station <laughs> the chips? chips? Yes. That's the, what he implied. I eat Takis every night. <laughs> so I get that I butt get cancer. That get the motherfuckers cancer. colon cancer? I have no idea. Oh, butt cancer. I don't even know. That's He's, weird. He said just it in a way. Just to have gluteus fucking cancer. <laughs> he said it in a there's way no, like. There's uh, no organ there. Yeah. Just he said it in a way like I should have known. Like it was a popular kind of cancer everyone was yeah. getting or something. That's. The, I thought I had eyebrow cancer once <laughs> for like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I had a knot underneath my eyebrow and I couldn't I couldn't shake it. Oh, that's fucked it's up. It's still there. I just, so right, tell me this. So when you go to go do the chemo, they're going to make you shave your head or just the eyebrow? <laughs> no, just the eyebrow already in out. the eyebrow. Just, just the, the eyebrow like a, and your upper nose it's hairs. It's like a chemo threading. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chemo threading. Chemo <laughs> threading. Oh, oh God. shit. They got to figure out that hair part. Man. Can we make that a thing? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> that should absolutely I've always that. thought that yeah. like dialysis should be like more of a social thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, like obviously, a set up a bar, like a yeah. bar kind yeah. of situation. Just yeah, a bar to bar. Yeah. You yeah. really just yeah. float from one room to another. A dialysis bar. Yeah, a yes. dialysis bar. <laughs> or maybe like a dialysis hot tub place or something. I don't Which know. I, you still do that shit? You still go hot tub and... Not as much as I'd like to. You, I, you know what? No. I thought you meant dialysis. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you, still you, still, you still do that dialysis? Yeah, no, I asked my go. grandma that. You still do? Okay. All right. Well. More power to you. What's going hot tubbing? Like, um, I love enjoy it. being in hot tubs. Yes, I also I, enjoy being in hot tubs because I mean, I like being. it a lot. I used to, I used to go into, I used to like because I, ne- I didn't have access to one, so I'd go into like apartment complex hot tubs. Me and my friends would look on Google Maps until we saw what looked like a tub and uh, we'd go and find it. Often it was a fountain. Yeah. Right? Sometimes it, it's a hot tub. And fifty percent of those times, it's not. It doesn't work. Yeah, that's the. But there's, there's like a fun and exploring, you know, and yeah. finding them. I hot, side hot eye tub. kids in hot tubs. If you leave your kid in a hot tub, like I'll kick him underwater. That's, yeah, it's gross. I'm full blown. I'll, that's not a baby. First of all, tub. first of all, a hot tub is dangerous for adults. You know what I mean? It's, How? They're generally not. How? Very, they're they're not, unsanitary they're, as fuck. They're not really. Oh, they're not really shut chlorinated. Up, Rob, it's in hot water. <laughs> yeah, but oh, okay. It's, just it, boil it, it just, off. It'll just boil no, off. It's no, just, no, 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 it's not boiling. Oh, hot. you boil in it. Yeah, it it's not boiling hot. The it's problem. just enough to keep it alive and make it evolve. Oh, yeah, geez. yeah, it's a really good temperature for multiplying bacteria. Y'all are so scary. Go ahead. Well, no, I still enjoy it. <laughs> and I, get, I bet a lot I of people fucking them. Yeah, yeah, everybody fucks it. Well, not everybody. They're just syphilis floating on the surface. And I do yeah. doubt they they don't just they don't just pop a plug and drain a hot tub every no. night. Yeah. At best, they'll throw a chlorine or some other yeah. shit in there. Well, what I like is the apartment complex ones are chlorinated. You know what I mean? Because they know they're like, Wait, these people I? these people are disgusting. We yes. gotta really protect this. But like people's just backyard some, hot lot, tubs. Yeah. I imagine those people don't even change the water. That's a lot of hotel ones are, are not chlorinated either. <laughs> oh, why Can I ask you this? Like, yeah, they you just, ever fucked in a hot tub? Oh, yeah. How do people do that? Like, all right, this is the question. Does water go in Boy and a girl like each other. No, does water, does the jet shoot in your asshole? Because well, you, that's what I'm, a, I've never <laughs> fucked in one for how, that fear. How open is your asshole? <laughs> I have to get real open because my lady's wide. Uh, how much, <laughs> so much taki have you eaten? <laughs> I have to get real wide because she's wide. So, I like, mean, no, you, do you, the jet stream. It's not a, unless Like, you, I don't wipe with baby wipes because like, I don't like that, that, when that breeze hit the moisture in your <laughs> ass, I don't like how that feel. I don't like how my hairs tingle on my sure. ass. Why would you? So I don't want no motherfucking jet stream going through there. Well, I, I have so. nothing to say to you. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to you. This is <laughs> these um, are questions. It, it is. So uh, I've People never the answer. I've never had <laughs> water jammed uh, up my asshole in the hot tub against. Yeah, I was gonna say against my will, but period. Um, against your oh, in, shit, or, in right. or out of the hot tub. That's no, right. I got several ancestors um, that had this happen. <laughs> I, Did but, anybody come? I've heard that like. <laughs> Because the friction from the water holes could make you come. I so can I've, see that happening. A lot of a lot of people's like you know because you know like young boys just start fucking stuff. A lot of people have told me they fucked the tub like yeah. a hot tub. My sure. Andrew Collin has told me that's how that was one of his first sexual experiences. He just got close and just yeah, fuck, <laughs> fucking the jets. You can't. I mean, you're not really fucking the jets. I mean, that's what he's trying to do. <laughs> but you, you, you're masturbating with it, sort of. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what the NFL. You can't. Did. You can't go head in on a jet like that. With it, when you have a child's dick, you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, even as a, oh yeah, you can fuck that jet with a small The jets dick. are like nickel size or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't even just mean the size. I just mean the pressure. There's a hole there. And there's yeah, it's a, a hole, and, but there's no. But I mean, on hole. both sides, you have a hole, and uh, oh, the, you, right, yeah, right. fucking you just, you're, yeah. What I would think, happen? I think it's just the vibration. People like the vibration. Yeah, of, right. But yeah. not on the not the top. Like <laughs> on the. <laughs> I don't. Just, I know how it works structurally. Just simply trying to think of which part of my dick I would put 
up against the hot tub. I put jet. my balls on the jet. It, naturally. That's a given. Absolutely. No, I don't like it's so close to the asshole. I don't like don't fuck with my asshole. Like, I just you know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll do any shit, but the asshole, no, nah, man. It's something Leave about my it. Ass alone. <laughs> So like if you're fucking and like the fan turns on and there's a breeze oh, on your asshole, first like, of all, you turn around, you're like, that oh, is homo. the the quickest unerect I'll become. No, like, like I, what? I mean, the fan? Yeah, when the fan come on, <laughs> no, we have to fuck God, in the heat. In the I fuck heat. with a space heater, nigga. I need, <laughs> I need that jungle fuck. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't. No, I'll fuck, fuck in, I'll fuck in the snow. Yeah, you fuck like oh, an animal that like doesn't fuck well, and so they're like, <laughs> let's get it, let's get the heat going, let's get some bubbles, let's get this yeah. shit going, yeah. aromatherapy. <laughs> it's like a fucking panda, yeah, like yeah. A fucking zoo. <laughs> yeah, like a rare, we gotta do to get this thing hard. You said a, a fan. A That's different than the AC. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about like a spinning fucking that? Yeah. yeah, I don't want that on my ass. That shit. <laughs> it's only gonna. It's only gonna hit you if it's cycling. So what? Okay. So, all right. What would you do? Just let, like okay. say you, you, you and your lady, or both of them, you're fucking. Right? Yeah. You're all right. right. <laughs> and you guys are fucking. You're kind of standing up, and then I, I run in. I know you're fucking. I spit in your asshole. <laughs> 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 would you kill me or like how upset would you? <laughs> this was fun. That's one of the things. You'd be so angry, you kill yourself. <laughs> 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 This fucking my bad. I bled that out. I'm sorry. You just kill your fucking self. You like this nigga. Just, how do you recover? First of all, I gotta explain to these bitches why you came in and spit my asshole. Did you plan this? Did y'all talk about this over the phone? What happened? Why did he run in here? How did he get a key? What the yeah, what the fuck? I gave him one. That Listen, shit. That's beside the point. Then I gotta sit there, not liking nothing in my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> then having to deal with spit going in here. Yeah, it's dude, fucking dude spit. Dude, I do spit cigarette bacteria colony spit. No, I quit smoking because of the bacteria. <laughs> you think it's gone already? It's freshly. If they can cure that shit in that fast, yeah, everybody's that is freshly flossed fucking mm -hmm. spit. Oh, oh, you talking about uh, oh man, clean spit. He got relax your butthole. Build up. Relax no, your I got, butthole. I got a, uh, ultrasonic cleaning up. done. That's why. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you you said it like that's brand new. Ultrasonic. Let's not you lose sight of the fact that he's spitting in your asshole. <laughs> but like a gentleman like, with a clean mouth. I don't, like yeah, a I don't care how clean his fucking mouth is. <laughs> I just did his asshole no, oh, wait, I just did it. Him do, to, it I do make, you, argue it do make you think that, though. Yeah, if it's clean spit, you got to kind of, well, baby, at least it's clean. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just needed to hear you argue it. That's <laughs> well, I did have an ultra cleaning. Yeah, that's ultrasound. <laughs> yeah, clean spit. No, I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't want to. See, this is the thing. I don't want no spit in my face. Right, of course. But I could bargain. That's disrespectful. I could bargain on some asshole spit. Maybe. Oh. I could probably bargain on really? some Really? So, based off this scenario, I could probably. If it's A clean, dude running in and. Uh, your friend running in I and. I will say this. Rod dude running in and spitting in your butthole be, changed your mind. Here's the real shit. You know <laughs> that it was previously. Oh, yeah. I don't like any. But <laughs> just, 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 just really tap it into the situation. <laughs> Boy, as random, a way to as, random as it would be. I'd, I'd probably come fast to process it. Yeah. You know, ha, ha, what the fuck just happened? Like, <laughs> we got to talk about boundaries. We got to talk real quick. Wow. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, I wish. I, I'm going to say no. I wish <laughs> Phil, I wish Phil we no. weren't out of time. Uh, and after the debate, uh, in my mind. You don't want puppets. nobody spitting your asshole? I'd rather not. Not even. <laughs> no. Yeah. Not even your liberal lady? No. Yeah, Rob, I'm Rob, fine. we can go back 400 episodes and play back. He's taking fingers. It, the spit is not going to be. No, I'm talking about Rondu Bondar spitting in my asshole. No, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, Rod, dude. Oh, you yeah. just. Oh, yeah. and, and, and I do a really ethnic accent. I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rodu, thanks for sitting in. You're hanging you out for the, extra? for the Friday episode. Uh, you know where to find us. Everything is at Praise Whiskey. We got to go. They don't want no problems. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye. <laughs>